<laughs> hey y'all I'm Cindy welcome to vlogtober day nine quite windy again and it looks like it might even rain I'm out here on this walking track <laughs> that I'm always looking for people and now I just have to look for people thinking I'm crazy. Crazy about yarn? That's what kind of crazy I am. <laughs> but I've been waiting on the days to get cooler so I could get back on my walking regiment. Regiment. <laughs> that sounds healthy, doesn't it? Just eating better and get back to walking because it's been so hot that all I've been doing is going home and going to bed, not going to bed, going to my recliner and crocheting. But I love this track. Thankful for my company for putting it in last year. Hope I don't make anybody sick walking along with me. But it does end up over by where I usually sit. I worked on the polka dot blanket some more last night. I don't know which way to turn y'all. And it got pretty large. So, I mean, it got large quick. <laughs> so I didn't um, get to bring it with me again today. It's now too large to carry around. I joined, I think, nine nine squares look at this track and the elevation Let's see if I can turn it around look how that goes down now going down is not the problem <laughs> getting back up when you're old and fat <laughs> that's the problem but we have cheaters so we can go out the other end where I usually sit in the pavilion and walk up through the parking lot but I do have some crochet with me. Let's see if I can show you the sky. I mean, the sun's coming in and out, but I don't know if this is part of that new hurricane that's coming through. Is that Michael? But let me see. This one's coming from what looks like the east, maybe. That would be east. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm so glad the sun is down and the wind is blowing just enough to where maybe I can start walking again. I usually try to walk in the mornings on my treadmill at home. But I just tell you, since I have started crocheting, that's about all I have done when I wasn't working or doing what else I'm supposed to do and Goliath is getting pretty jealous because that that polka dot blanket took up too much room and he couldn't get in the recliner with me last night going down the thing now oops sorry <laughs> I think I gave you a shot of the girls sorry ah, or my belly um, I did eat a little bit better last night. I fixed myself some, I baked tilapia. I've got to get used to this, holding this thing, because this looks pretty strange with me doing this. Um, baked tilapia with some lemon underneath it and on top of it. And it was good, just seasoned like that by itself. And a salad with some fat-free Italian, zesty Italian. And what else did I have? Just like some salad mix out of a bag, of course. And I think I sprinkled it with some, a little bit of grated Parmesan and pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> Dang, these gnats are terrible down here on the bottom side of this track. Ah, oh my gosh, it's like, 
I don't, I'm doubting you can see it, but it's like a wall of freaking gnats. And I can't tell if I'm just walking through them or if they're coming around me. But anyway, <coughs> here comes one of our trucks. And gnats in my face. Let me pause for a minute. Alrighty. I'm gonna try to, oh my gosh. Here's another massive hill. Wait till you see. I just gotta get used to this again because I think one round trip on this track is, let's see, maybe a half mile, I think. And I usually do that in the morning, you know, in my breaks, since I don't smoke anymore. You see that hill? This is actually my first day. Alrighty. Let me get set up. This is my normal little spot. I just have a couple of things real quick. Then I'll walk back. Wow, really? Why is it so dark? sometimes and sometimes it's not I may just have to hold it breathing heavily okay in this tripod and these mesh tables okay I'll just show you my crochet real quick and then I'll walk back <laughs> I think so Okay, so I had started a, oh, I don't know if I showed y'all, this is one of those headbands I was talking about, the ear warmer headbands, and uh, this is Karen, uh, not Karen, I love this yarn blush, and this is one of the ones I was going to put in the cups to sell for Did something strange right here so I'm not sure I may take that out and put it on the inside or I may turn the headband inside out and see if that twist looks okay this one I was talking about yesterday that Mikey was calling the twisted sister ear headband ear warmer anyway this is I love this yarn in blush Ugh, if I could get it see what I mean <laughs> Mesh and wind. Wind feels good though. But, as expected, I knew. That might blow the phone over again. I always have one of these with me. That hair is just too heavy sometimes. Anyway, I don't know if you can see me. This is this is not good. Okay, so this is a Twisted Sister Ear Warmer Headband. What are those creases? <laughs> uh, I don't wear makeup, but looks like I might need some tape. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and at least I'm glad that tooth is showing up today. Yesterday, it looked like I didn't have a tooth because of the sunshine. And as far as my dentist goes, I do have to have that that um, filling fixed. I knew it was coming apart. It's only probably about 30 years old. Uh, okay, so this is the twisted ear warmer uh, headband thing that I was gonna put in the cups or mugs for uh, the breast cancer money raising and then I had been working on this and I can't even remember a uh, shawl in a ball calming desert 
And I had started this and I couldn't find a pattern that I liked. Let me see if I can hold it up. I usually have a book or something with me, but I haven't the past couple of times. Shawl in a ball, calming desert. No specific pattern. See the colors. Just V stitches, really. But that's a green. Okay, now the sun's gonna come out right behind me. Maybe this way. Oh, yay. Somebody came and got in their car while I was sitting here talking to everybody. <laughs> that makes me really crazy. Like, ah. okay. Okay, now I gotta move again. Hang on. Will I ever get this together? October day nine. And I forgot my dress shoes at home. So do I need the light in front of me, behind me? What? Okay, a little better, but I'm still squinting and I got those lines. Anyway, one more time. This video is gonna be more adjustments and less crochet. And now the sun's out. I'm not going back on that track. I've been sweating. Calming desert. Starts out with a... Uh, it's got some kind of little green hue-ish thing to it. Then kind of a grayish. Then a tannish. Back to some gray. Where is that attached? Green. Purple. Fuchsia. Yeah. Back to the fuchsia. And I think it goes back down those colors to the end of the ball, right? Back in the same direction. So anyway, that's just a V stitch, right? Is that a V? Wait. Not upside down, it's not. Upside down V. I can't really tell. Yeah, it is. It's a V stitch. No specific pattern. I just I didn't like any of the single shawl in a ball patterns. Uh, Fire and Ice Poncho, maybe. I can't remember who that's by. Anyway, just using a, a J. J. Eh, whatever. Anyway, just using a J on that. And then I brought uh, some cotton and I might try to make a a uh, dishcloth or something, I don't know. I like Crystal's, Krista's Double Daisy. I have to shut my eyes to think. <laughs> double Daisy uh, something dish towel that she does. And she also does a, um, I think she also does a blanket in that. And I think that's the next one I wanna do. But that's really all the crochet I have today. I doubt I'll start on this because by the time I get up there and it's hot, I'm probably just gonna turn my fan on and chill out the rest of my lunch. Okay, y'all ready to walk back? Uh, I kinda need to go buy my truck. Okay, gotta pause you for a second. Okay, am I recording again? Okay. Now see, I can stop my video, or I can pause it, and start it back, and it's all good. But if it stops, then it just cuts, cuts it off. I guess I am going to try to go back through this track. Oh my gosh, then I'm going to be hot and sweaty when I get back in there. Maybe I should sit up under the sh shed and crochet. Huh. I did do. <sighs> I guess I gotta start walking at some point, right? And then today for lunch, I brought baked chicken with just some of Emerald's, um, Emerald's essence, except I make it for myself. I make like this huge container of it and then I usually put a bunch in separate little bottles and give it for Christmas gifts or 
you know, just give it away. That's what I do. Uh, can we hurry up and get to the shade now? Cindy Crossing, Cindy Crossing. Now see, when I was used to walking every day, so we got this fence next to the woods, kudzu and poison oak, <laughs> an occasional snake, maybe. But look how quickly the sky has changed. Isn't that beautiful? Wait. Okay. There. It goes from gray to blue and white and gray and blue. So anyway, I baked chicken last night to bring to work today along with a sweet potato. But then I got um, some black eyed peas and cauliflower and broccoli, steamed cauliflower and broccoli in the lunchroom. And I ate one little piece of chicken and then I'll save the other two to take home, I guess. Or maybe after a while. When I start eating right and walking and drinking my water and everything, I try to space my eating out. Whereas it seems like I eat all day long, which really I probably do, but it's not fattening or snack foods. It's like apples and tangerines and usually I cut up See, I'm going back up this hill now. Ugh. I cut up. So I'm probably sweating. Excuse me. I usually clean and cut up carrots and celery to bring to snack on during the day. Didn't actually do that this morning, but I, um, did bring an extra apple and tangerine and I make oh, am I breathing too heavy for you <laughs> somebody listening is gonna think you're watching something a lot different <laughs> and then I made some sugar-free green jello with some of the little 100 calorie fruit cocktail. And each batch of Jello and one little can of fruit cocktail makes three containers. And that is like, so that's like five calories of Jello and 35 calories of fruit. And it, each little container is about two-thirds a cup. And I mean, it makes like two snacks for me during the day. So, it kills a sweet tooth. And with that fruit in there, y'all may not want me to do this again. This old girl may pass out. Nah, I'm not going to pass out, but until I get used to it again. It will wind me. But anyway, so that fruit cocktail is about 40 calories per container. And like I said, it's a pretty good little serving and a good snack to kill a sweet tooth. So, get back on this bandwagon. And it's really not the eating good or bad that gets me. It's uh, not getting to the grocery store like I should. Because I'll bake some chicken or some pork chop or some kind of meat to bring. Or enough for a couple of days. I'll get a big pack of boneless, skinless chicken breast strips or whatever. And I'll sp split those depending. I'll put two to three strips per freezer bag. And then 
I'll just get out one pack at a time or two if I want it for more than one meal. But anyway, I just gotta get back on the bandwagon because there's no reason I should be breathing like this. Especially since I've been quit smoking now for almost a year and a half. But two, I'm about to go in the building. So if you haven't yet, then please like, subscribe, and join our Facebook group, um, Cindy Hearts Crochet. And I will try to see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Remember to be the kindness you wish to see in the world. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye.